Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Are you really looking to save some pepper seeds? In this video, I'm gonna show you how simple and easy it is to save your pepper seeds. Hey guys, uh, wanted to show you exactly how to know when you're gonna pick your pepper plants. Now you wanna make sure that your pepper plants are fully mature and fully mature means that they are have completed their their growth cycle or very close to the end of it and the, the way that I know it the easy, most easiest way is that if you know the, the pepper what color it, it's going to be when it's fully mature then that's usually the ideal time when it gets to that particular color you know that it's gotten to it's fully mature because sometimes you'll pick well most people will pick the peppers off when they're greener and they're not fully mature and you can still eat them but they haven't fully matured enough to get the seeds. I'm gonna show you just a couple of pepper plants so you get an idea of what to look for for each particular type because there's different pepper plants, of course. So in here, this one is a, a banana pepper. Um, and, you know, as you can see this, this one is not fully matured, it's yellow. But if you look at this guy, this one is orange. I might let this one go a little bit longer before I get the seeds. Here's another pepper, this one is a not sure exactly which type this one is, but this one is not fully matured as you can see. This one is a jalapeno um, pepper. So as you can see, that one is completely red. And some of them are green. So that one I would come I would use that as seeds as well. This is another example of one that I might actually pick off. These these actually grow out as purple. And when they get more mature, they turn a more reddish hue so as you can see this is what this is basically what I'm looking for is I'm looking for what it looks like the mature color of it before those are ideal so here's some chili peppers oh, one already came off but as you can see it's you know comparing it that's red and then this one is not a mature one so you want to make sure that they're actually red or whatever color they are when they've fully grown and that's that's how you know when to pick them. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually show you what to do for the next steps inside. All right. So now that you've seen what the the, the particular plants that you want to pull off your off your garden, the the, the main differences as I spoke about is you want to make sure that the pepper plants are fully matured. And that the generally the way that you can tell is is by the color. So as you can see, this one is uh, this one is not quite uh, developed, and this one is obviously red. Um, on this particular pepper, uh, as you can see, one of them is green and the m mature one is red. So they will, the, and, and the same thing with, you know, other peppers that you may have. You may have uh, some bell peppers that they're, they might, have, when they're fully matured, they're yellow or they're red or purple or whatever color that, that you got. So it's a good idea to know the particular color that you have of that that variety of pepper. And you wanna make sure that you're pulling it off when it's fully matured. Here's a jalapeno that's completely red. The other thing I didn't, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, uh, one of the things that you have to make sure is that the variety of plant that you do have, the variety of pepper plant that you do have um, is an open pollinated or an heirloom variety pepper. And what that means is heirloom or open pollinated means that it has, uh, it has, it's going to produce the seeds, are, the offspring or the seeds are going to produce the same type of plant each year. Uh, the difference between that and say plant that is not open pollinated, it might be a hybrid variety of the plant. Um, what they do is uh, they, uh, they select the, the certain plants and they cross it with other known traits for it to get a, a kind of a hybrid version of it that what happens is with those type of seeds is that the offspring are not always going to be the same as the the parent plant so to speak this uh hybrid uh, pepper plant could be bred just for a level of hotness and maybe a different color the offspring of it might exhibit um, you know one of the traits of the particular parents but it doesn't exhibit the other trait so bottom line is make sure that your plants are open pollinator or heirloom variety grab a few different varieties of um, pepper plants um, just so you can see the process of um, you know saving the seeds from this point 
Uh, so let's get right into it and I'll show you in, the, in there. One thing I didn't mention is you want to have um, some supply, just some basic supplies when you're doing this process. Um, you want to have these um, or some type of place to store the, the seeds itself. Um, I love these little coin envelopes. They're very simple, um, very easy to use. You can write on them. Uh, so I would recommend that you write the variety of pepper plant that you have on here as well as the year that you're doing it. So for this one, uh, you know, believe it or not, this, this jalapeno is, um, I'm not really sure what variety of jalapeno pepper this one is, but I'm gonna take a gander on it. I'm just gonna put jalapeno pepper because I don't have any other ones in my storage for jalapeno pepper. Save these ones because they're actually very good. They produce the plant itself was very good. Uh, I'm not sure if it is open pollinated, but that's one of the things I said, you can take a chance on it. So that's one, um, you know, some of the supplies that you need. The other thing is if you're handling hot peppers, um, I only have, I'm only gonna split open this jalapeno pepper, so I'm, I'm gonna take a, take a chance on it. But if you have, uh, say, a habanero pepper or anything hotter than this, like a ghost pepper or any of those other things, I would definitely recommend that you use gloves for that because you get that all over your fingers and you know, goodness knows you're gonna wipe your eyes at one point if you forget to wash your eyes. So just be really careful with that because uh, it's really happened to me before when I was um, preparing something, I just didn't even think of it. And then half hour later, I was rubbing my eyes and boy, was it painful. All right, so to make it really easy is this this particular pepper plant, I, I, I kind of like letting them you know, sit out as long as possible. Um, I did just cut it up um, to just open up the pod. But as I said, you wanna make sure that this is a mature plant before you even get to this part right here. So as you can see, this the seeds in here, now the really hot part, and I'm actually gonna use the knife for this part right here, because I want to get all these seeds out, but I don't want all this other junk in here. One of the good things about the peppers is they're very easy to, to separate the seeds from all the other stuff. So you don't really have to do any kind of winnowing or any other type of um, seed saving techniques that you might have to deploy on some of this. So you just take a little knife and just kind of scrape it off gently as you can. And I try to get all of them on if I can. Um, you know, one plant, I mean, look at this. This plant has a good number of, of um, pepper seeds in here. There's quite a few in here. So maybe uh, depending on how many you plant for each year, I mean, you might only need a couple of these um, to save. And don't forget, and I guess I forget in this top section right here too. So as you can see, it's very simple to separate them out and to get them all kind of to gather together in here. This really is one of my favorite parts of the year um, is, is when I do save the seeds. I feel like um, saving some sort of legacy or history. Um, you know, I guess I'm one of those uh, romantic gardeners that I feel like I'm doing my part here. So after you have everything all separated out, um, I would generally, what I would do is, um, is you can lay this, let me get a piece of paper here. What I do is I do very simple, is um, you can get a paper plate, maybe uh, just one of those paper plates, and um, you, I, I would let, because you want these to like dry a little bit more because they've been inside the pod itself. Having a paper plate is probably the best way to do this. I'm just gonna use a piece of paper for right now, and then I'll grab my paper plate, because I forgot to do that before the video. But what you wanna do is you, do, you wanna kinda of separate them out just a little bit because this will help um, them dry a little bit more. You don't want, um, you don't, one of the things about um, saving seeds is you don't want, um, you don't want too much moisture in, in the actual seed. Now you can have some, a, a very small amount of moisture, like everything is not gonna be completely dry, otherwise it will, won't be um, viable. Well, so what I'll do is for my purposes, this piece of paper is jalapeno peppers and I'll leave this out. I'll leave this out uh, somewhere. So away from my cats, of course, 
and my kids um, so that these have some uh, an opportunity to dry and then once once it's dry um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place these right in my envelope in here and you and another important thing is make sure that you mark the date that you did um, uh, the year that you actually posted it's not really necessary for the month or anything but the the year that you that you um, save the seeds as well as the name and if you have the variety um, I would also put the variety down as far as um, the type because some of them some of the peppers will have different names um, even though they're all jalapeno peppers there might be different types of varieties on there so uh, usually it takes uh, I would say just indoors it would take uh, probably um, a good you know three maybe four to five days for these seeds to com be completely dry uh, you can you can leave them outside if you really want um, and that might speed it up if it's a little bit warmer outside but I generally just leave them inside um, away from everything and they take you know about four or five days for for them to be dry so that's really the jalapeno one now let me show you just another one just so you get an idea now this one is um gosh what is this one i think this one is actually a cayenne pepper so as i said you know you're looking for the 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 variety that's the mature one in here now this is going to be really tricky getting this thing out because this is going to be really hot uh, i probably should have gloves on for this one but the things I do to help out, help you guys out, figure this stuff out. So I usually, the long ones, I'll split it open, and these ones have a ton of seeds in them. I, I remember saving these before. You can still use this. You can actually still use the pepper itself, which is one of the good, great things about this, um, about saving these, because some, some plants you can't, because they're either too dry or um, you, have to, um, you have to do some other process to them. Well, the peppers you can actually scrape out all the seeds and just be careful not to get any in your eyes or anything or anywhere else put it on its own little plate and label it to make sure that you know have a label have a, a separate envelope for it ready to go uh, a good four to five days and you are off um, you're off to saving seeds for next year but as you can see it's very simple to save your pepper seeds uh, that you can plant for each year. Uh, you know, most uh, most pepper plants will have a good, probably at least 30 to 40 seeds in them, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on how big the variety is. Uh, but so I generally, what I do is um, each year is um, I, because you can still use the pepper plants, you know, you can still use it in your cooking after you take the seeds out. Um, I, I don't necessarily um, target one particular plant. I try to get the biggest plant and obviously the most mature pepper plant that I can to um, to use for the, um, you know to grab the seeds from it. So um, hopefully this helped you out. Um, also, I wanted to let you know I do have a playlist if you're looking for other vegetables or herbs or any other kind of uh, seed saving techniques. Um, I'm going to post the link up above for a playlist that will just go over all the different varieties that you can uh, save seeds for. And I give you a little hints and tips for it as well. Um, but hopefully this helped you out. If you could, please give us a green thumbs up. Let us know that we're making a great video for you. And also, if you could, hit that subscribe button down below, that little thing over there with the bell. Once you hit that, and you, you'll get notified of any new videos that we do have. Um, and we also have a website called GardenerThumb.com where you can find other helpful hints, tips, and tricks for you out there. Well, as always, thank you for uh, watching. We'll see you in the next video.